Hey everybody, how's everyone doing today? I hope your day is going fantastic. I want to do a really quick video today. I want to talk about making some font strike through via a script here. So essentially what we want to achieve here is have this font kind of be crossed out. And we can do that in the inspector pretty easily here, but if I want to do it via script, it becomes a little more difficult. There's a little trick to it, but I'm going to show you guys it right now. So maybe the user completes an objective in game, or maybe there is the time runs out or something like that here. We want to make this go cross through here. So the project as it stands now, it's pretty basic here. I have some different things going on. Um, if you don't know how to set up a canvas or a text mesh pro object, be sure to watch out my be sure to watch my other videos here. But it's pretty simple. We have one script living in scene here on the game manager, and that script is completely empty. So let's get cracking here. So the first thing I want to do is that I'm going to say using TMP Pro, and that is the naming stage for Text Mesh Pro. And then we're going to set up a reference. So I'm going to say serialize field. And this is going to be a Text Mesh Pro UGUI, and let's call this title text. And let's hook up this variable from here. So back to the game manager. game manager and we're going to do drag in our title text from there cool so that's pretty pretty basic here and now let's do the magic so we're going to say title text title text dot font style font if i can tell you font style and we're going to set this equal to font style dot strike through just like that there and this is a little confusing sometimes here because these namespaces in this class here, some you think it should be on the title text dot strike through or title text. Um, there is one like is, you know, title text dot is using, uh, is bold, is using bold here. So sometimes you think it's that, but it's not quite that. It's a little bit different. We want to say dot font style. And then we're setting that equal to font styles dot strike, dot strike through. Go ahead and save the script back to our scene here. And you'll notice that when, since it's on the start method, as soon as I run the scene, we're going to see that, um, that effect take place. Boom, so there you have it. So now we have that strike through happening on the font. So if you guys learned something, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.